Conditions will remain mild for your overnight hours. I'm UF forecaster Anthony Bordonaro. Temperatures around midnight will be in the lower 60s and they'll remain in the lower 60s until sunrise. An isolated chance begins earlier in the day, but there's some areas of patchy fog that will be developing in the early morning hours. That's where I want to start off with. Notice to be fairly widespread by 8 a.m., but it'll be quickly lifting. We'll see some calmer winds today. That's why I'm expecting a little bit more fog to develop than yesterday. We can see all the way down by Citrus County, stretching all the way up to some areas of the Suwannee River Valley. Even towards Putnam and Clay County, you can see fog. So there'll be limited visibility this morning, but again, it'll be lifting fairly early. Temperatures in the afternoon will be getting into the upper 70s and lower 80s for most areas. Getting to 80 in the villages, 78 in Palaka, 80 in Gainesville, 79 in Stark and 78 up in Lake City. There's a chance for some rain. I'm expecting to be a little bit less than what it was today. Notice most areas remain dry. A lot of the activity remains south towards the villages and Ocala. We could see some onshore flow from St. Augustine, but overall calmer winds is going to lead to less rain activity. And by sunset hours, notice most areas will be dry tomorrow night. Temperatures will be slowly dropping into the upper 50s and lower 60s again, getting to 59 in Gainesville, 59 in Micanopy, 59 over in Hawthorne. Similar story for Marion County, getting to 61 in Ocala, 61 in Bellevue, and 62 down in the villages. But a shot of cool air is on the way. It will be brief, but notice tomorrow night a cold front's passing through. We'll be quickly bringing in some colder air to our area, but overall, it's going to be short because a area of high pressure is going to begin to develop mid next week and temperatures will be rebounding into the upper 70s by Thanksgiving. Notice 54 degrees on Tuesday, quickly rebounding to the upper 50s back on Wednesday morning and then getting into the lower 60s for your overnight at the end of next week.